Most young men, they, they come to seminary, they're mid-twenties, early, uh, newly married, have a, maybe a kid or two, and I had been in the ministry for over 20 years. To come back to seminary and to kind of return back to the academic life, I didn't know if intellectually I could do that again. So when I came to the seminary, I was very nervous and it was very intimidating coming back here and seeing these young guys and they're fresh and, and um, but I knew that this was something that God was leading me to do. And so if God is leading me, I know that he would give me the ability of, of functioning as a student and at, as a pastor at the same time. What I appreciate so much about Puritan is the experiential aspect that they have, that it's not all academic. They make it practical uh, for the 21st century. The interaction that I have had with all the professors, they've had an open door policy, you know, that I can go and talk to them and schedule opportunities to share with them my concerns. And they've always been very gracious to me. They've always treated me, not, not just as a student, but as a friend and a peer. And, and there's a great mutual respect that goes back and forth. There is a way in which the Christian faith is to be lived out and you take your theology from what the Bible has to say in a very accurate way and it unfolds really in the experiences of life. That's made a huge impact really in my life and how I view how the Christian ministry is to be lived out. That I engage my mind, that it affects my heart and it determines how I live and how I serve and how I minister the body of Christ. The gospel is the canon, the standard the principle, the rule that only brings peace, mercy, and grace to the sinner. Looking back, I'm a different person now than I was when I started. If I had not come here, I think I would have just gotten caught up in the professional career mentality of ministry, and I don't want that. And so I believe that even now, on the verge of being 50 years old and coming to an end, really, of my Master of Divinity, I'm refocusing my mind to the fact that as long as God gives me breath, as God gives me the opportunity to stand behind a pulpit and to open up the Word of God and to bring the Word of God to bear upon the people that are listening to me preach, that I want to take every opportunity to make much of Christ and much of His Word for the glory of God. And had I not been a student at PRTS, I don't know if I would have that attitude at all.